Hello everyone. Today we have a 2017 Ford F-150 with a 5 liter V8. Uh, we are having issues with transmission. If you look at the dashboard, it gives us this message. That basically means there is a transmission issue. Or there could be more issues with it, but... Uh, we're having transmission problems. It does not uh, shift into any gears other than reverse, fifth, and sixth. So let me demonstrate. So when I put it in drive, it goes in drive, and then on the left screen, it shows fifth gear right away. I can shift it into sixth, probably. Oh yeah, go manual mode. And you can shift, no, it doesn't even shift anywhere. It only stays in five. Well, I guess when you drive, it'll shift into the sixth gear, but not when you're stationary. So no matter what you do, it's a, it's a fifth, sixth or reverse. So let's go ahead and scan it and see what the codes are. So we're gonna do auto detect and it'll detect itself. Let's diagnose it. It's gonna do a full system scan. See what, what we got for the codes. All right, so we have powertrain has six codes. Let's check what these are. All right, so we have six codes and they're all related to transmission. Uh, range sensor, solenoid A circuit. Yeah, pretty much range sensor and solenoid A circuit. So. I guess we're going to have to pull the pan and see what's going on with that. Maybe we can test it externally. We're going to check diagram and see what, what it looks like and see what we can do. And uh, we go from there. So we are now looking at the transmission here. In th this transmission has a range switch built into the lead frame, which is uh, pretty much an electrical conductor plate that's uh, giving all the all the connections to all the electrical things in the transmission there would be a connector right here this is a connector that came out of it and the lead frame starts here and then goes uh, connected inside there to all the solenoids and range switch is uh, part of it. So we're gonna have to drop the pan and look at it because we've already did the basic checks with the wire, with the wiring connector. No issues found, there is power coming and we only have codes for the range switch and the switch and the shift solenoid A. So if there is a power issue, we'd have more codes about everything. Pan goes down and then we're gonna start checking. Okay, we've dropped the pan and we have noticed a lot of sparkling non-ferrous material on this uh, filter. This is bushings and stuff that shouldn't be here. Yeah, that's a lot of it. Whatever is on the magnet, that's just uh, normal wear and tear of of uh, ferrous metals but all of this is uh, bushing material and uh, can't be good it may have contaminated solenoids hence the code for the shift solenoid and it may have even contaminated that uh, range sensor the range sensor is right here in that uh, in that rail we can clearly see that this range sensor is filled with metal a lot of metal is on that range sensor and that could make it unreadable. It could just be reading incorrect gear position and uh, giving us all those codes just because of that metal stuck to that magnet. So lots of metal, let me see, oh yeah, on that range sensor. So we may need a new transmission, but I guess we're going to ask customer what he wants to do next. Whether replace that uh, lead rail, lead frame, lead frame is called? Lead frame. Yes, lead frame, not lead rail. Uh, excuse my French. 
So lead frame we're gonna have to replace or maybe a transmission. We're gonna confirm that with customer and we'll see how it goes. We've also noticed a small piece of metal that's uh, not filings, that's just a piece of something that may be broken in the transmission. Not sure what that is, but it's definitely not good. It was just stuck to this magnet right there. So let's uh, drain this and see what uh, what else could be in there. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so there is another little piece here. Of something. So we may be needing a transmission after all. We're gonna, we're gonna ask ask this customer what he he really wants, and then we'll find out what we do. For now, we'll put this on the magnet here. Okay, we ran into the first issue while trying to remove this. Uh, this is the new one, but the old piece. This uh, metal clip is holding the connector external on the transmission. I'm going to show it to you in a second. And uh, it gets pulled down with this from the bottom. But the, the plastic piece is stuck in the housing uh, because it's aluminum and it's corroded. So here is how it looks like on the transmission. So this piece here, we pulled it down. So the clip got pulled down, but here is the connector and it's stuck in the aluminum housing, so it's hard to pull it out. We may break it, not sure. Uh, here's another angle. Yeah, so we're gonna try to remove it. God knows how that's gonna work. So it turned out pretty easy. There is a special tool for it that just locks onto that uh, piece and then pulls it out, but we just used the original connector that connects to it, just locked it on that piece and then pulled it out. So tool is really not needed. You can just use the connector that's on the vehicle to pull it out. Now we're pulling out uh, the valve body with the lead frame assembly. <laughs> So this piece came off probably from here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the piece fell out when we pull out the valve body. I suppose it needs to be somewhere here. Oh, actually, I think here. Mm -hmm. Here is where it came from. We got the assembly on the table. This piece like this or like this, I don't know. I think rod down. Yeah, it's a rod down like this. So make sure you don't mess it up. Came out from right here. This is the first time we're opening this transmission. So not familiar with it. We also found some bigger metal pieces. Not sure what that is. Could be some kind of maybe some snap ring pieces. Oh, and there's the there's the filings with some bigger crumbs. I'm not sure what we need to do here. We may need a transmission. Customer said that he wants to try the lead frame first. He just wants to use this vehicle for a little bit to figure his stuff out. So I will tell him that we found more pieces and then we'll see what he wants. Something is falling apart, but customer wants to put the new lead frame and uh, see what happens. So that's what we're gonna do. Here is the old lead frame and uh, there is some metal filings on the contacts for the shift solenoid. We had the codes for the shift solenoid and we had the code for for the this uh, range 
position switch, position sensor. It's got a lot of uh, metal filings on it. That's what uh, interrupts its operation. Doesn't operate properly because of that. So we're gonna change it and hopefully that'll work. See, even on the back of it, is there is a lot of uh, oh, where to pull it out. So all these magnetic lines that are supposed to be they're supposed to be sensing, giving the signal, the correct signal in the correct position. They're all contaminated with just filings, metal, very tiny pieces. And that interrupts their operation, I guess. We've got the new lead frame mounted to the valve body. Already put it in the transmission. Already have that uh, connector in there. Now you just gotta put the pan on. Fill it up with oil and hold it works. So we are now filling the transmission. We have this really nice homemade machine for filling the transmission. The way this machine operates is it sucks it out from the big tank and uh, pushes it into the transmission right there where the dipstick goes we've filled up the proper level of oil and now we've cleared the codes and uh, the transmission is operating normally it shifted into drive and it's showing first gear active. Can you switch the Tiptronic stuff? See if it's, yeah, it shifts. Everything works now. We are going to go for a test drive soon. So let's uh, just go for a quick drive. See how it shifts. Oh, shifted very smooth to the second. And uh, Third already, is it? Oh, we had four, okay. And I didn't uh, feel any sudden jerking. So it looks like transmission is going to work for now. I wonder what those pieces were and how long this transmission will last. Okay, so we test drove it to fully operating temperature on the transmission, uh, there is no issues it shifts smoothly in every gear i don't know what those pieces were in in the on the valve body and in the pan but it looks like everything is operating properly after we've replaced that lead frame so i hope it's gonna last uh, if not we're gonna have an episode on what happened next so i'll see you in the next video